Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you some of the maps that I made using the map maker feature in Brawl Stars. So first one that I'll be showing you is Brawl Ball. This one is called Hiding Places. And I made this map with lots of bushes in it for places to hide. Once you spawn, you can see there are three spots. If you spawn in the middle, then you'll have to battle the other person to see who can get the ball. Also, if you spawn near the bottom, you'll have to navigate throughout some bushes and walls, and then you can get to the ball. And you can attack the person who's trying to score on you, or help out your teammate who's trying to score on the enemy. Next map I made is a bounty map. And over here, you can see the spawning places are also pretty spread out. And if you go over to the left, you can take a green teleporter and then go this way. But if you take a blue teleporter, it goes up and to the left so you can t attack people right away over here. There are two jump pads in this map. They'll take you to the center where you can collect the blue star at the beginning. This map also has open space in the center. That's good for long range brawlers. And then on the edges would be better for close range brawlers because everything has lots of walls and it's close together. This next map I made is Showdown, and I made it a giant circle. And once you spawn, you'll either be at the bottom or the edges, or you could be in the center. There are lots of brawl boxes around to collect power points. There's 32 in total. And then in the center, it's a lot of open space for long-range brawlers, but on the edges, it's close together for short-range brawlers. As the smoke comes in, it'll get smaller and smaller, so people will be forced to fight each other, and they can't hide in the bushes forever. This next map I made is called Dungeon Crawler. Now there's lots of walls around here. It's almost like a maze. Once you spawn, there aren't very many brawl boxes. There's only 28. You can collect the power cubes, and try to find people to attack. Once you get to the center, there is some open space, not as much, but there are extra bushes to hide in. This last map is called Electric City. It has this road going through it that also turns left into a pond, and then there are four teleporters in total. So on the right, there's a green teleporter. It goes farther, it goes almost to the safe. It goes very close. The red teleporter goes towards the bushes where you can hide and then you can throw items with barley or with tick onto the safe and you can stay hidden so you're not seen. In the center there is an open space where long range brawlers will have an advantage because there isn't very much stuff to hide in. Well thank you all for watching and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!